Thank you very much, and uh, thank you very much for this opportunity to share with you my first uh, uh, impression uh, uh, of uh, this time visit uh, to Cyprus. A very special time. Uh, I came only a couple of days uh, before the whole college led by the President Barroso comes uh, 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 to this uh, um, Iceland uh, uh, to talk about uh, the uh, uh, next six uh, months of the presidency of, uh, of the European uh, Union. I had a, a very open, frank, and fruitful discussion with uh, our president, uh, uh, with the DC party leader, and also with uh, the foreign minister. We, of course, uh, first of all, talked about the presidency, the, the priorities, um, uh, and about, uh, in particular, uh, about the area I'm covering in the college, which is neighborhood uh, uh, and uh, uh, enlargement. But it was also an opportunity for, to, for me uh, uh, to express the full satisfaction um, of the preparatory process and the level of preparedness uh, uh, for my separate colleagues to assume this very important uh, uh, responsibility. Uh, we talked about uh, uh, the foreseen challenges and unforeseen challenges of the next uh, uh, six uh, months. Uh, uh, we talked uh, uh, also about uh, the reaction of, uh, uh, of our partners to the uh, Cyprus presidency, and in that connection, I made a, a very clear um, statement, uh, uh, actually a call uh, on everybody to respect the role of the uh, um, presidency, uh, uh, which is an important institution uh, uh, in, in the European uh, Union. As I said, very much looking forward to the Cyprus presidency. There is a lot on the plate in the enlargement and neighborhood uh, uh, area. An enlargement, I mean, to keep the process uh, uh, going on despite uh, the number of the uh, challenges we face uh, uh, domestically as well as the financial uh, um, uh, crisis are concerned. But also in the neighborhood, uh, we focused on the southern dimension, where the Cyprus has a lot to offer to the member states uh, uh, based uh, on its proximity exposure uh, uh, to the south, uh, but also experience of, uh, in dealing uh, uh, with this neighborhood, particularly at this point of the time when we see the historical changes in the, in the whole region. We have, of course, talked uh, also about uh, settlement, uh, and I express uh, 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 concern about the stalemate of the settlement uh, uh, talks. Uh, uh, I stress uh, uh, it's important uh, uh, for uh, the United Europe to have a united Cyprus. I said the timing is, uh, is, is running uh, uh, out. I said that the price uh, of not achieving uh, a, a solution uh, is going to be bigger than a price of uh, uh, any reasonable compromise uh, 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 that the parties could uh, uh, could uh, achieve uh, and should achieve. And I also express the hope that uh, uh, the talks and the dialogue will continue in a, in a certain uh, uh, format during the presidency. I made absolutely clear comment that I don't see any contradiction uh, between assuming the role of the presidency or the, or the Cyprus authorities on one side and at the same time uh, uh, continuing uh, uh, to address uh, this important uh, issue of the comprehensive uh, settlement. We talked also about uh, uh, other relevant and important issues like the issue of hydrocarbons. Uh, uh, we. Uh, had a very interesting discussions about uh, about the current status of affairs. I, I made the point uh, uh, that uh, the discovery of the hydrocarbons of these resources should be a blessing for the region and not a curse. That uh, uh, it should be a catalyst uh, for the comprehensive uh, uh, settlement uh, for the benefits of all uh, of the Cypriots. Um, tomorrow I will cross the uh, 
Green Line, uh, and I will have uh, um, the discussion with the leader of the uh, uh, Turkish Cypriots and the representatives of the political parties uh, there. Um, I, I will also have a meeting with the Turkish Cypriots Chamber of Commerce uh, and uh, open one of the projects or the results of the project uh, with the European Union assistance of uh, the old marketplace uh, 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 on that part of the Green Line. Um, and later today, there's going to be a special uh, event for me. Uh, it's going to be a second dinner. Um, I'm organizing, uh, uh, inviting uh, the political leaders uh, uh, from uh, the Republic of Cyprus and also northern part uh, uh, of, uh, of Cyprus uh, for the uh, discussions uh, uh, about uh, uh, the settlement, first of all, but also about uh, the presidency uh, and, uh, and uh, what is there for Cyprus uh, uh, next couple of, uh, uh, of months. Uh, that was one of the elements uh, I very much appreciated during my previous uh, um, trip to Cyprus. This uh, a very open exchange uh, uh, with the politicians uh, from both sides of the green light, and I'm looking forward for uh, uh, an inspiring uh, uh, conversation also this time. Thank you very much. Can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. What is your message, uh, the message that you are sending when we are uh, speaking about the Republic of Cyprus and northern part of Cyprus? The message is uh, uh, that uh, Cyprus is too small to be a divided country. Uh, 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 the message uh, uh, is uh, that uh, there is uh, uh, no plan B which could work uh, 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 to the benefit uh, uh, of all of the Cypriots. There is only one way forward, uh, and it is to reach a, a comprehensive settlement uh, and make sure that uh, 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 all uh, uh, the Cypriots benefits from the European Union membership.